So, do you trust God? Do you trust him wholeheartedly? Or is it one of the no, yes type of relationships? In Proverbs 3, 5, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? What do you trust God with? Well, let me tell you from my family's perspective, what happened to us on June 28th this year. Our son, he is a carter, so he drives go-karts and he races them with other kids his age, which he's 11. And imagine your child on a track going, what, 60 to 65 mile an hour with a bunch of eight, nine, 10 and 11 year olds. It's a little nerve wracking. Well, on June 28th, our trust in God was tested. Christian was in a race and he was sideswiped by another cart. The cart hit him and his cart took air and flipped two times. As he laid on the ground, my husband and I froze. It was as if time just stood still. And I remember in my mind saying, Lord, wait a minute. You were supposed to be protecting him. Where are you? What happened? How did this happen? And I so clearly remember God telling me through follow-up conversations with my son and talking with my husband after the emotions settled, God said, oh, I was there. You see, when the cart hit your son's wheel and he took air, I reminded him that in 2017, there was another accident with a professional race car driver. And I pointed out to him that when that gentleman got into an accident, you're supposed to cross your arms and let go of the wheel until the cart sits still. And so at the very moment that your son took flight, I brought that back to his memory and he crossed his arms. I was also there because I had a conversation with your son in midair as he just talked to me and I comforted him. Then, not even a foot off the ground, I dropped him out of the cart. As the cart continued to spin, he laid on the ground protected. And I talked to him as he was not screaming or crying. He was just doing an assessment of how he was doing if all his bones were together. So I was there. I was there to protect him the entire way. My husband and I had to really grapple with this. And we really came to terms with, we not only trust the Lord with our possessions, with our house, our car, our job, we trust the Lord with our son. See, when I was 29 and I had cancer, they told me I couldn't have kids. My medical records say 0% chance of having kids. I'm not supposed to be here technically, statistically, so he's really not supposed to be here. So the question is, do we really trust God with this child we weren't even supposed to have? And our answer is yes. What we walked away from on June 28th was the fact that our son belongs to God and he lends him back to us for the time that we have him here. Our trust has to go wholeheartedly, completely to God. You can't trust halfway. That doesn't exist. And even our son at 11 years old can tell you he had a real moment with God and he too trusts that God will protect him. And the next time he sits into that seat of that cart, cause he will be back. He will lock into God and let God drive that cart, knowing that he's the one who will keep him no matter what happens on that track. And so I ask you, do you trust the Lord with all your heart or do you lean to your own understanding?
Can you trust that he will take care of you and your family and your needs? It's not easy, but it's definitely necessary. Have a good one.